Okay, these are the answers to the quiz that you took right before the holiday. The grades on most of them were extremely good, but there were some of you that had some trouble with it. So I wanted to go over all of them with you. Okay, these are the right answers. You can grade your own work, you should have it. 32 centimeters, 64 square centimeters, 20 inches, 21 square inches, 18 meters, 15 square meters, 20 feet, 12 square feet, 26 centimeters, 27 square centimeters, 18 and 84 hundredths inches, and 28 and 26 uh, hundredths. By the way, this was supposed to be square inches, all right, because that was an area. So, again, to do these, there are three things you need to know. Number one, you need to know the formula. And you don't just need to know the formula. When you do these, you have to write the formula, okay? Then number two, you have to know what the variables stand for and replace the variable with their value. And then number three, you need to know the order of operation to work the problem out, all right? If you know those three things, then these are very easy because I'm even letting you use a calculator to do the computation. Although most of this work is so easy, you don't need a calculator for it. The first thing was a square, and its side was eight centimeters. So we start with the formula, perimeter of a square is equal to four S. S stands for the length of the side, which is eight centimeters, and the answer is 32 centimeters. And again, formula, replace the variable with its value, get the answer. Then you have the area of a square. Can't make a Q right now. Which is side to the second power. The side S is eight centimeters to the second power. By the way, that would be eight centimeters times eight centimeters. Eight times eight is 64. Centimeters times centimeters would be centimeters squared. By the way, that's how you write centimeters squared. Centimeters with a second power on the top. Some of you wrote this. That's not how you write centimeters squared. Okay, if you're gonna use the SQ, then you write it 64 square centimeters. And if you don't know how to get the exponent by using the other notations, then just write SQCM. But it's not CMSQ. Anyway, Formula, replace the value variable with value, and get the answer. So the perimeter of a square is four times the side. The area square is the side to the second power. The next figure was a rectangle. Pretty bad looking rectangle there. That's a little bit better, not great. This was seven inches and three inches. Again, you start with perimeter of a rectangle. And I like two times the sum of L plus W. Some people prefer two times L plus two times W. That's your business, which one you use. I think this one is easier to find the calculation. Replace L with the length, which is how long it is, seven inches. W with the width, how wide it is, three inches. And then use the order of operation. Do parentheses first, seven plus three is 10 inches, and then multiply two times 10 is 20 inches. So formula, replace the variable as value, order of operation, answer. And then the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. Again, replace the length with seven inches, the width with three inches, and then multiply, seven times three is 21, inches times inches is inches squared, inches to the second power, or 21 squared inches. Formula, replace the variable with value, answer. Again, perimeter of a rectangle is two times the sum of the length plus the width. The area of a rectangle is length times width. And you get to the parallelogram. And again, in the parallelogram, 
you have five meters and you have eight, I'm sorry, four meters, and you have a height of three meters. Again, start with the formula. Perimeter of a parallelogram is equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus S4. S1 is the side one is five meters, plus S2 would be side two is four meters, plus S3, S3 is not three meters, that's not a side, that's the imaginary height. That has, has nothing to do with the perimeter. And you say, well, I don't know S3. Sure you do, opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So if this was five meters, this is five meters. So S3 is five meters and opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So if this was four meters, this is four meters. And now I can add five plus four is nine plus five is 14 plus four is 18 meters. Area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height. The base is the bottom that it sits on, which is five meters. And the height is how tall it is from the top straight down. It's an imaginary dotted line, three meters. So five times three is 15. Meters times meters is meters to the second power or meters squared, or you can write it 15 square meters. And again, the formula, replace the variable with its value, work it out. Formula for par par perimeter of a parallelogram, side one plus side two plus side three plus side four area of a parallelogram, base times height. And again, if you know your formulas, all you have to do is replace the variable with its value and work it out. By the way, right now, since you're doing this at home, you could use your formulas that you already have given to you, that I sent to you. But I would start trying to do it without using the formula because when you take standardized tests, and when you go to high school, you might have to know the formulas by heart. The next figure is a triangle. Kind of looks like this, kind of. Okay, and this was nine feet. This was five feet. And this was six feet. And you had the imaginary height, which was four feet. And again, you start with the formula. Perimeter of a triangle is equal to side one plus side two plus side three. Side one could be nine feet. By the way, it doesn't matter whether you choose side one to be nine feet, six feet, or five feet. It doesn't make any difference because you're gonna use all three. Side two, five feet, and side three, six feet. What does matter though is do not use four feet. That is not one of the sides, that's an imaginary height. So when I add nine plus five is 14, plus six is 20 feet. Now, area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Again, that formula sheet I gave you gave you one half times base times height but multiplying something by one half, taking half of something is the same as dividing by two. Most people like this one better. The base again is the bottom, which is six feet. The height is the imaginary dotted line, which is four feet. And you divide by two. So six times four is 24, order of operation, multiply left to right before you do fractional division. Six times four is 24, feet times feet is feet squared. And then you do fractional division, 24 divided by two is 12 feet squared or 12 square feet. And again, formula, replace the variable with value, order of operations to work it out. Formula, perimeter of a triangle, side one plus side two plus side three. Area of a triangle, base times height divided by two. Again, you need to know what the sides are and what the height is and what the base is to figure this out. The base is the bottom, the height is from the top straight down to the base, and the sides are the solid lines, not the dotted ones.
Next figure was the trapezoid. Okay. By the way, these last two are the ones that most people who got a bad grade had trouble with, so please pay attention. This has the two parallel lines are five centimeters and 13 centimeters. The legs are four centimeters and four centimeters. And the height is three centimeters. So again, <clears throat> excuse me, for the perimeter of a trapezoid, it's equal to side one plus side two plus side three plus side four. The sides are five centimeters plus four centimeters plus 13 centimeters plus four centimeters. And the one you don't want to use is the imaginary dotted line. That's the height. This is not part of the trapezoid. It's the height and it's imaginary. That's why it's dotted. So anyway, five plus four is nine. Nine plus 13 is 22. 22 plus four is 26 centimeters. And again, formula, replace the value with value, work it out. Area of a trapezoid is equal to the sum of base one and base two times the height divided by two. Again, on the formula sheet I gave you, I gave you one half times the sum of the base one and base two times the height. And again, multiplying by one half or dividing by two is the same. Most people find this one easier to work out. By the way, what is B1 and B2? It's the two parallel lines that it sits on, the bases. So B1 could be 13 centimeters, plus B2 could be five centimeters. And again, whether you use B1 as five centimeters and B2 as 13 centimeters gives you the same answer. The height is the imaginary dotted line, three centimeters divided by two. Order of operations to work it out, add first, because the parentheses is what you do first. 13 plus five is 18 centimeters. Then you multiply left to right before you do fractional division. 18 times three is 54 centimeters, not five, 54 centimeters and then divide by two, and that equals 27 centimeters squared. By the way, centimeters times centimeters was centimeters squared. Okay, and if you want it, you could make it that, or you could make it 27 square centimeters. And notice I didn't do the calculation for you because I will always let you use the calculator to do the work, although that work that might be the first thing that I did so far that you might need a calculator to work out. Although some of you might be able to divide 54 by two in your head. Anyway, formula, replace the variable as value, answer. Formula, replace the variable as value, answer. And again, when you come back to school, whenever that is, okay, if you don't write the formula first, replace the variable as value second, and then get the answer, you're gonna get points taken off. And I've seen people got every single answer right and fail because they didn't write the formula. The last one was a circle, okay? And it had a diameter of six inches. All right, so circumference is equal to pi times diameter. That's the formula. Pi is equal to three and 14 hundredths. That's not the exact pi, but that's what we use, the approximate pi. The diameter was six inches because diameter is all the way across. Multiply three and 14 hundredths times six inches, and you get 18 and 84 hundredths inches. And again, I'm not doing a calculation for you because you can use the calculator for the calculation. Then you have the area of the circle is equal to pi times the radius squared, pi r squared. Pi is three and 14 hundredths. The radius is half the diameter. So if the diameter is six inches, the radius is three inches. 
from the middle out would be three inches and you have to square it. So this would be three and 14 hundredths, three inches times three inches would be nine inches squared because three times three is nine inches times inches is inches squared. Three and 14 hundredths times nine is 28 and 26 hundredths inches squared or 28 and 26 hundredths square inches. And once again, you write the formula, replace the variable with its value, work it out. Formula, replace the variable with its value, order of operations, work it out. And again, if you know your formulas, if you know what the variables stand for, and if you know your order of operations, this is extremely easy, especially since I'm letting you use a calculator to get the computations. So for all of you who got a good grade, fantastic job. For those of you who didn't, I hope this helps you understand what you're doing wrong, okay? Because you took a skills test on this and some of the same people who did poorly on the quiz did poorly on the skills test. And I asked you to uh, send me a message on which ones you had trouble with so I could do them for you. No one sent me a message, so I never did a video on those to tell you what you had trouble with. But if you're having trouble, you should always let me know. Okay, you can shoot me a message on Google Classroom and I'll make sure I include it on a video if you're having trouble. So these are the formulas that we knew so far. We're gonna move on next to volume.